like I'm working with Drake and Nick. So I saw like crazy and I saw coming in and um, there's just there's just experiences sometimes when you that have nothing to do with any previous like cinematic experience you've had before and it feels as though you don't know how they did it. And um, I wanted to be led by that. And then I read the script that had a sort of basic and like fundamental and just like uh, we all the awakenings, a bunch of them, 25, I remember feeling like the more will come, but like that, that those firsts, um, like there's no other, right? And then, um, uh, to, uh, to like acknowledge the ebb and flow of that, even though, you know, uh, well, whatever. Okay, so basically, I just want to be pushed, like I, I really, I, I want to, um, uh, I, I'm not sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, just, I just want to make it up. I can't just be, but, um, I just want to make it up. Alright. Um, and then we have to, uh, I'm going to get this soon. Unless I leave to go finish on the movie. Uh, so, see you later. She's going to talk to Pinch's flight.
<laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yeah, you know, <laughs> really constructed a beautifully tight product. Jonathan Allen's manager, really, I mean, it's just amazing to think about how you could just calibrate the suspense. And yeah, of course, I mean, there's some elements in there, and I, I love Romeo and Juliet, so the idea that anybody would think about that in our film, I think it's beautiful. But at the end of the day, for me, it's really about trying to remember. For me, the movie's about, uh, it's, a, it's a metaphor for a long-term relationship, and when you're towards the end of something, or deep into it, it's sometimes easy to forget why you're in it, and what, what you feel, and what you're going through. So for me, it's about reflecting on that, and that's what I wanted to do in the end. <laughs> Thank you. 